here, for example, um, want to have some ghost, and let's say you want to give him a smaller mass so that if you can only get hit if he's like specifically hit in the center. We'll learn about about more about that in later tutorials. Now, first of all, we're going to create event, and in the control tab, we're going to give him some code. Now, for those who are still new, I suggest you follow along. It's easy to learn code at the start because, yeah, just you know, it's just more easier to use code rather than drop and drag because you can you know fully control the game rather than just give it instructions. So put um, variable, let's just say hit points. To simplify it, just put it HP. Let's, let's give it some reasonable value. Let's say 30. Okay. Now for the next line, we'll give it speed, which will be SPD will equal, let's say 2. You could put speed but since it appears red that means it's an inbuilt function and you know you'll learn about more about that later okay click um, OK now that we on the create when this object is created it will give it these two um, variables and yeah so when it's created HP it will give the variable HP equal to 30 and SPD to 2. Now add event. Now before we do that we're going to add the other objects. So we'll, we'll create a crossbow. The we'll name is crossbow. Doesn't matter what you name them, you can you can name them anything you like. It's just doesn't it's just easier to name them close to your sprite so you can easily Resemble them. This won't really take long. Okay. Now let's continue. In the uh, step event. He's going to do a little bit of coding. Now here we're going to program that the soldier will actually move. So I'll be showing you guys, you know, how to actually make him move. If we we want to make him move horizontally, as if he was on the platform, so we're going to put X. Since it's red, it's already a built-in function. X minus equals SPD. That means that X coordinate will always take away how many pixels per step to this um, value, which will be 2. It's a bit hard to explain now, but in simple terms, it just makes a move left. Okay. Now, we're going to add... A bit more coding to this, and what we can do now is make sure that when this when this guy dies, you know he has to die. So we'll put if HP is if to that means if it if the variable HP which we stated earlier is either smaller or equal to zero. Instance destroy. That's another built-in function where it actually destroys the uh, the object. And add event destroy. That means these events you know occur. So for example, the step event occurs how many times in a second, depending on your room speed. Create only occurs once once when the object is created. Destroy is um, executed when the object is destroyed there's many others where you can like let's say for example like if you let left release like press your um click on the object or for example when the object touches something else or if you on an alarm or you know 
if you let's say keyboard where you can press this when if you press left for example you know you can make a move but for this one